Geo at the Adult Entertainment Expo on Thursday with the beautiful Jillian Jansen. Hello, Jillian. How you doing? Wonderful. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Now, last time I spoke to you was about a year ago. So what have you been up to since then? Well, I've been feature dancing. I've been uh, doing that more lately than I have been doing more videos. But um, I knocked it out at the beginning of the year, obviously, to, to credit myself for some nominations. So um, I've... Uh, I don't know. I just been finding myself. I've uh, I've I found my friends. Like uh, you know, I hang out with some porn people, some you know what we call civilians. Like, and then they get really, really, really into the porn. So then they're always with me now. Like, I'm, I'm bringing people up from LA just to come and you know support me for for the show. So um, yeah, I've just been you know moving around too. I, I've. Uh, as people know, I, I'm originally from Minnesota, so I moved from. I'm moving, moving back and forth. Like, um, I originally moved out here when I was 18, moved to Hollywood, did some things, and came back to Minnesota, and then was there for like seven, eight months, and then moved back to LA. So ever since March, I've I've been in the Valley, and I'm moving into a, a nice house now. So like, things are really upgrading for me, and, and things are going. I'm, I'm having some like really nice friends of mine, roommates, uh, be my roommates. So it's gonna be such an even better year because I plan to get a company going. Um, which I, I said like last year, but never actually got the contacts, I guess, to get together. You know, you need to know the right people. And, and definitely when the girl, yeah, you got to get everything coming in day by day by day. So I'm just getting myself on the track to being able to do that. So just having fun. Like everyone knows um, after uh, high school, I just kind of dipped out and just did this and went to my career right away. Never got that party like mode out, like never got the, the dorm room, roommate situation. Never got that like, like everyone, you know, when they go to college get that. So um, I feel like when I do go to college, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have my own apartment and it'll, it'll be on the set, it'll, it's something else. So um, I kind of got the, the drinking out of my system. Like, well actually, this weekend, that's not. <laughs> that's <laughs> after this week. weekend, <laughs> I plan to go. You know, my resolution was after you know the the events that I, I will only party on events. Like that's the only time because I'm set focused for like just just setting my future up. Awesome, awesome. So how has city life been treating you uh, in LA and what? Pretty good. I mean, the only thing that sucks right now is that you know uh, I had a car. And it was breaking it down back in Minnesota, so I was like, ah, just leave it with my brother-in-law, mechanic, he'll fix it. It turns out he only fixed it for like a hundred bucks, I thought it was even like a thousand, so I was like, well, let's just buy a new car in Cali, like why drive the hassle? And ended up not getting a car, like right away. It's, things came up, roommate situations and family and, and all that, so I still don't have a car. <laughs> And so I'm traveling around LA in Ubers, and I'm depending on my friends for rides, which I'm, I hate being dependent on other people. It's I can't blame you. Uh, I'm yeah. so independent. I was just raised that way. Right. My mom was just really working, and, and it was a single mom, so it, like it was like the situation. She has two daughters, and you know her life was really oh, complicated. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so there's that. All right, yeah, are you excited for AVNs? Oh yeah. So, I ended up getting an amazing hotel room, and it wasn't until like after like a few days. Like everything was literally, I'm the queen of last minute. You can ask anybody. I'm always late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Marilyn Monroe's little protege. I'm late, um, but um, you know. Uh, so what, what was? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, just the actual words themselves, I'm presenting. So right, right. I'm not nervous yet, but it's like that moment of right when you're on stage and right about to talk. I don't want to like, <laughs> like, you know, I'll do something funny so I don't feel like, okay. you know, <laughs> that's that's my strategy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, in fact, if it's going to be anything like last year, it's going to be a breeze. I mean, simple. I mean, it's going to be harder this year, actually, because I have lines. I'm talking. Actually, it's gonna be harder than last year, but that's okay. I'm I'm prepared for. I'm willing. You know, I'm ready. Uh, I hope. You know, I actually prepare myself to lose. Oh, all right. Yeah, I always do. So then I feel good about winning. We got some. E or if I feel like, if, or if I don't lose, I feel good about losing because I, I set myself up to lose. Right. And I was just gonna party anyway. <laughs> that's a good attitude to have. <laughs> You're up for some good nominations this year. You know what? I was just looking on my phone because I didn't actually know 
I just knew I was up for like six one, and she's just like five foot. So I'm up for best anal, best POV, perform of the year, uh, mm, like you know others, and it's like, perform of the year. That's a girl. Big. Like I, I didn't think I even did enough girls this year to be up for girl group. I feel so proud. <laughs> um, no, it's just amazing. I mean, like I said, I kind of knocked it all out at the beginning of the year. Um, literally, actually, before I moved back to LA. I was like, I was in LA for three months and I was like, I should just move back to LA. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> so uh, that was when I pretty much cut it all. I, I That's when I did all my work. So then obviously it released like later on. Um, and so and, and stuff is still coming out. Like for Penthouse, I've shot for them like three, four times since the last time you guys seen me in an issue. So I'm super excited for that to come out <laughs> eventually. <laughs> I know you said you want to do more girl, girl. Are there any female performers you'd like to shoot with? Yeah, there's a bunch. Oh crap, I can't name a few. Phoenix Marie, Luxus, Texas. Um, I actually really want to work with Samantha Saint. She's beautiful. Her boobs. Kendra Lust. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's just all those girls. <laughs> and so many more where that came from. Like, I... I don't know. I just I feel like I'm a larger woman. Like to the like to, you know the girls in this industry are so tiny, like five foot and just like so deep. So I feel like a giant to them, and I don't like I don't want to feel like the man. I want to feel like the woman in the situation. Like even man or woman, 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 whatever it is. So I kind of like the girls with the big tits and the big butts because like obviously you know, it's like I guess. Um, they could, you know, just bury me and just suffocate me. And yeah, no, I, I did that. Who's uh, who's? Fit? I just went up to Alex Chance and I just went. No. <laughs> she was just She's like, awesome. She's like, <laughs> 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 it was so dope. Um, so I love women, but you know, I, I work. I, I don't know. It just depends on what mood I'm in, because. I would prefer, if I could, a man and a woman. <laughs> would that be your favorite uh, type of scene to shoot? Yeah. I mean, it's it, it, no, actually, no, because um, if you don't have the right girl, it makes it really awkward. Like, then you feel like you're doing better than her or you're doing worse than her. Like, it's so you are, you're sizing each other up, it kind of feels like. I don't do that. I, make, I try to make every girl feel comfortable in that, hey, this is just like a casual, like... I'm just, you know, I like to get to meet them, so it's like ca kind of casual. Like when we're in makeup, I like to talk about just, you know, the things that they like and whatnot, just to kind of get to know them. And so like, it's funny meeting all the girls that are on the the floor that I've, you know, known throughout the last two years. Like just how much like they adore me and how much I adore them. It's like wow, we like really came, th you know, this way with each other. So. Uh, there's a lot of girls that I worked in my past that I, I would love to do it over again and then there's a bunch of girls that I haven't worked with and same with guys like I have my favorite male performers and and uh, there's a lot of people I haven't even worked with that I didn't know as friends and still haven't worked with them like so all right I have to say in a short period of time you've achieved a lot and you're one of, you were one of my most popular interviews last year I had so many readers tell me your uh, how much they love you so to what do you attribute your success to um, <clears throat> hmm. I love my fans. Like they are what keeps me like going. In fact, I lost like thirty pounds um, within the last two years. And yes, I get comments like, "Oh, I, I wish you were bigger." Like I miss you, your butt. But it's still like I had all those fans that came with me. And and, and regardless of what I looked like whether I had a chubby face, whether I have a skinny face, people admire that and they, they're not afraid to compliment. And so I go on my Twitter and I read all of this like, <clears throat> and I'm not, you know, I'm one that, you know, I'm not like, um, like when sometimes when girls, like when you say you're so beautiful, they're like, thanks. You know, it's like, like I know, like it's no, it's like oh my, oh my God, thank you so much, and I I feel like I have to give a compliment back in some way. Like you're so sweet, or you're so you're so beautiful too. Like you know when the girls, like you know, and like in, it doesn't matter for women what size, what color, like what you know what you look like. I still say you are gorgeous. Like I don't give a fuck what anyone looks like. You are gorgeous inside and out. Unless if you show me your true colors and you know you're you're disrespectful or you know I, I was raised up on manners so I, I always say please and thank you like I, I am really really like I get really upset 
on top of, you know, if I'm like hustling or like hurrying to like do something. And, uh, you know, I don't know what I was getting to, but <laughs> I'm talking too much. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I was getting to. You can block that out. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you. Any final words? Um, I I love what I do, and it's because my fans, like, you know, I'm doing it, obviously, for other reasons, too. Um, but thank you for supporting me. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten these nominations if it wasn't for the support of all these people. <laughs> so um, follow me and keep updated with me, because um, this is not the last of me. <laughs> all right. And, if, and, and where could they find you? XO Jillian Jansen, J-A-N-S-O-N, on uh, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on Periscope. Periscope's becoming like a huge thing, so I just love it. I'm starting to do it all the time now. So. All right. Thank you so much, Jillian.